Where does time go? My goodness. Seems like all the bands that I saw in the 60s and 70s, you know, there's only one original member left in the group, or there's tribute group groups out there doing their songs. It's like, oh my goodness, you know. Unfortunately, you know, my, my wife will say, so I guess you don't want to see that band because it doesn't have the original members, it's one member, whatever, you know, and it's like, oh. I guess I'm spoiled because I, you know, saw all the original groups. And it's like, you know, well, when I went to go see Yes and, and uh, Asia. I mean, Asia was great, the group Asia. But yes came on and the, the key vocalist was missing and the uh, keyboardist. And it, it was terrible. It was, I, I walked out. And I suppose it would be that way, you know, if Led Zeppelin decided to go out and play without Robert Plant. Or, you know, if Paul McCartney and just Ringo went out, you know, in the banner of the Beatles, it just, you know, would not be the same. I couldn't handle it. Some people would love it. That tribute thing was, oh, okay, it was all right, you know. But the Rolling Stones, you know, I would not pay $300 to, to see them, especially when Brian Jones is missing. And uh, I don't know. You know, like I said, maybe, maybe I'm spoiled. Did see some of the Garfunkel, they put on a great show, but all these guys, you know, they're you're near retirement age, and uh, sometimes you, it's best that you just remember them the way they were. So, like when I saw the Beach Boys, yes, 